Hey guys, welcome to my first video. Today, we'll be making these phone chargers out of Altoid tins. However, I'm not using Altoid tins because I couldn't find any. I'm using these Exila tins. They still work just as good. So, to get started, you're going to need some, a few supplies. Before we get to that, let's look at what's inside here. So inside, this has got some very, very simple wiring. You just wire it up to your battery things, to two parts of the PCB. That was my newer model. It got the same thing in this red one. The older model I had that didn't look as good was this one. It does the same thing, except doesn't look as good. It's not as practical inside. Today we'll be learning the newer model of mine. Okay, let's get started. To make this project, we're just going to brush this aside quickly. To make this project, we're going to need a soldering iron, a cock glue gun, some electrical tape. Where's it? Has it somewhere here? Well, I'm going to need this phone charger adapter, some solder. I just found this laying around. I need to get some more. We don't need much for this project. Industrial battery. I'm using an energizer. Energizer industrial. I'm using the industrial. I think it's Arcane Two, because with this one, it charges faster and will have more battery life in it. It's much nicer. Um, you also need one of these battery snap things. That one's up there. Oh, I think my glue gun and solder are hot right now, so I better be careful. I already plugged them in. And you could also have multimeter if you want, which got to the side here, but I won't bring that in. It's a bit big. Oh yeah, and of course, there it is. You're gonna need a tin. Put it back here. You're gonna need a tin. And I believe that's it. Oh, you can also use some two tools too, like these tweezers. Oh yeah, one more thing to notice is we're going to need a drill. Here it is. I'm using a nice drill bit, which will fit like about, let's see if I get an angle here. About that big on the side. So not too big, not too small. Yeah. And another thing to note is on here, we can also use a rich junk file. You want some tweezers that will have these in them. Or you use some sort of saw. I think there's a special tool for this. Anyway, it's just to carve out the edges when you drill the hole for the um, USB to come out of. So I usually just use this part on my tweezers. Anyway, let's get started. So, first of all, we need a tin. Well, not a tin. We're going to need this. I picked this up for about $4.59 at uh, MTF. So... Let's go ahead and take this part. There will be an LED right there and a screw right here. I've already gone ahead and removed those. I use a very just small screwdriver, just like this. So i already gone ahead and removed those. After that, and um, LED, I'll tell you when you have to remove that. Once you take all this off, you will. So, take that part off. And then, once you get that off, you should be able to unscrew this top thing. And then the spring spring and where did that go here it is and this little guy should pop off after those are off you should easily be able to pull it open and then you can pull the pcb out this part will be detachable usually but this one is pretty tight on that's why i like this model the only hard part about this model is soldering onto this flat, flat surface because that's where the spring goes onto. so what to note is the um, front end, so the end that'll look like this, this end of it, that is positive. These side things, these bumpers, those are negative. So we don't need those bumpers really, they just get in the way. So we're going to go ahead with our tweezers. This is why I recommend tweezers as well. Grab on here. Grab our tweezers snap it open snap it off just like that 
I saved the other side. So grab your tweezers and just take a good angle, snap it off. Nice and easy. So now just look like that. Right? Now, this is where you need to start soldering. So you take your connector, and what you're going to do is you're going to solder, oh, I got some glue on it, okay. You're going to solder this red bit to this bumper here. That's where the spring goes onto. You're going to solder this black bit onto here. So let's get right to that. So sorry, you may have a bad angle when I do this. So this red one is quite annoying to solder on. I do not like it. And sometimes you'll just have trouble. Show my model here. So I usually, it's good to have another a friend or something hold it for you while you do this, but I don't have a friend on hand. So now, I have this started on the corner here. Nice. Now, the next step will be to solder this right here. Let's get a better look here. So that onto there. It's just anywhere on this strip. Let's just get that done. I am running a solder. Okay, now that we got these both soldered on, that was the hard part. That's all solder I have left, by the way. Now, we are going to get our electrical tamper. So we're here. So now we're going to wrap this around. It's going to get nicely on there. Oh, just went off. Okay. Just to cover up the holes. So you got a little bit of gray showing. So now get that all wrapped on. Just like that. So wrap that around. And then this should be in. Two wraps on there. Now let me get my scissors. Sorry, I forgot to mention that in the uh, materials, but I should be able to figure that out. Should we have some scissors laying around? Just gonna cut off the end of here. There. Okay, I got the end cut off. Nice, wrap it off. It's got all wrapped up. Now, now it's all soldered, wrapped up. So sorry. Soldered and wrapped up. Perfect. Now is probably the most annoying part. You're gonna to need to drill a hole for it. It's gotta be it's gotta be able to fit right in the side there. So here we so let's move everything a bit out of the way. So now this is the annoying part. I, what I usually do, I'll give you a better view for a sec here. I usually put the drill down right there. Somewhere like not in the middle, but not on the side. Like just a bit more to the left or a bit, like a bit more to the right. Maybe there somewhere. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drill down on it, okay? So I'll give you a look at that when I'm done. Okay, i got one hole done now. Now for the next hole. There. Nice. So two holes. Now here's where you take the electric, like, sandpaper, some, some crap like that. And you just, see, I cut out the middle piece. Just gonna carve. I usually strokes in like this. You don't need to get an angle. Like that. I really don't do strokes out. Because then it pulls all the metal out instead of pushing it in. And then if you push it in, it just gives a nice smooth look on the outside. See, push in that. So I'll get back to you when I'm done carving it all out. Okay, now I got it pretty well carved out. So let's test if it fits. Perfect, first try. Look at that. Fits nicely, right? So now 
what we do. We're going to put a bit of hot glue on here. Then we're going to stick it down in here like this. Stick it right down so it goes like that. Sits in there nicely. So then we hold it there until the glue dries. So we'll do that now. Okay, got the glue on it. Holding it till it dries. Should be good. Well, it shouldn't be all dry, but it should hold in place. Won't fall away. Perfect. This piece should fit in there nicely. Uh, I got my two holes in here and they drilled out. Now, um, gone there. We're going to have had to hot glue it on, right? But just so the hot glue doesn't seep out into the outside, we're going to use a bit more electrical tape. So you have that about that much electrical tape. Then you're going to want to stick it on in here like this. I'll just give you a better look in a sec. Just like that, so there's no cracks here. Perfect. Tighten this there nicely. So now to keep it very good in place, I'm just gonna give a nice layer of hot glue around here. I just put it on every edge of the electrical tape. So even down here, maybe in there, in there. Make sure it won't go anywhere. Okay. Looks good to me. Lots of glue. Looks great. So now, it's pretty well done. All we need to do now is take our industrial battery, stick that on there, and put it in here. There is some optional things that I suggest doing to make it look better and to also make it nice and easy to close it so the wires don't get in the way. I usually take the wires like this. Oop, got my finger in the hot glue. Yes, that hasn't dried yet. Put it down. There you get a better look. Just in there like that. And then, oops, got my finger there. Put hot glue just down on it there. I'll hold it in here until it dries. Okay, it should be dry. Okay, looks good to me. The next step we have to do is test it. I suggest not gluing the battery in place just so you can change it in case. These batteries are a bit more expensive, maybe two dollars for a nine volt. Probably get them a Radio Shack. I have equivalent to Radio Shack in Canada here called Ytech. They have just same stuff. Okay, so now we just need to test, test it out. Okay, to test this out, what we're going to do is we're going to go first of all, close it up. It's just all nice and closed here. There's nothing stopping it. Look good and make sure it looks good. And now we need to get the charger right here. And we're going to plug it in. So it's the glass. Out. And we're going to plug it into the USB. Just like that. And then you take the other end of your cord and you put it into your device. So not charging. Then when I plug this in, there we go. Charging. So that's, that's how it works. Go from there, show you it's legit. Whole cable. And charging. So the tablet shouldn't take too long to charge with this. This is an emergency charger, so don't be as good as a ball plug, I don't think. Haven't really done too many tests with it yet, but I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.